Look, Tina, I don't think I should be here. It's a family occasion. When Vicky sees me, it's going to ruin the whole homecoming. Oh, Vicky likes you, David. She may not show her feelings like I do, but I'll bet you when she sees you, she'll give you a big sisterly hug. Mm hmm Now, would you hold these for a minute? I'm going to go find some streamers. All right. Tina, we're home. Surprise. These, uh, are for you. No, thank you. What are you doing here? All right, the car is unloaded. What would you like this? Don't worry, General. The silverware is safe. <laughs> Look, Tina wanted me to help organize a uh, welcome home party for Vicky and Jessica, but you showed up a little bit early. <laughs> hey, great balloons. I think surprises are nice, don't you, Mom? Depends on the surprise. And uh, where is Tina? You mean, can she back up my story? Look, I'm sorry. Vicky, you did invite me to stay at the carriage house. Yes, I guess I didn't realize you were going to move in quite so quickly. Well, thanks to Tina. She's made me feel very welcome. Jesse, let's go find Tina before we have any more surprises. I'll give you a, a hand with your bags. You really make yourself at home here, don't you? Well, J Vicky was very generous in offering to give me a place to stay until I got back on my feet, yeah. Yes, Vicky is nothing if not generous. I sometimes worry about that. Oh, you disapprove of generosity. I disapprove of people who take advantage of generosity. And let me, un let me make this clear. I've gone to war for less. Sloan, what are you doing here? I thought you were bringing Vicky and Jesse home. Well, they're in the library looking for you. They're here? Mm-hmm. Well, good. Well, come on. Let's go greet them with a proper hello. <clears throat> Vicky, Jessica, welcome home. Thank you, Tina. It's nice to be home. So many new developments. <clears throat> Jesse, how is music camp? Great, great. Now I'm going to go to the one out west near where my dad is. Mom says I can go to the August session. Oh, I can see it now. The next guest artist for the Landview Philharmonic, Miss Jessica Buchanan. Bravo, or uh, uh, brava. <clears throat> now, musicians have to eat, right? David and I made these hors d'oeuvres, and we have five thick steaks ready for the grill, don't we, David? Oh, sorry, Tina, but my dad's coming to pick me up in a few seconds. We're going to Luigi's for pizza. <laughs> Mom, if yes. Dad comes, tell him upstairs I'm packing. I will do that. Well, that means more steaks for us. I'll tell you what, why don't you get the grill ready? I'll Tina, get the steaks. Honey, I'm sorry, I hate to be a party pooper, but the trip was really very, very tiring, and I'm exhausted. So if you don't mind, just freeze my steak for another time, okay? Well, we were counting on... No, 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 Tina, know, Tina, it's just, okay. We... All the other nights, don't worry. Vicki, I'm just glad that I was here to welcome you back. Good night. No, David, David, wait a minute. We, we can toast, toast your coming here. satisfied you should be ashamed of yourselves you're always accusing me of being self-centered and insensitive what do you call that performance darling tina just because the man claims to be our brother does not make it the truth i'm sorry i have to reserve judgment why vicky why the man wants nothing from you he was willing to sacrifice our mother's name so the truth about Victor Lord's death could come out. Ask Dorian what she thinks about reserving judgment. He saved her life. The man should be thanked, not insulted. If David is everything he says he is, we'll be the first to lead the cheerleading squad. Honey, you know, it's obvious that you've managed to overcome your doubts about David. And okay, maybe you are right and we're wrong, but I'm sorry. I have to move very, very slowly, okay? Anyone who has been associated as closely with Dorian as he has... I don't trust Dorian any more than you do. But at least Dorian knows to give him credit for coming forward. And has David asked for anything in return? Anything, any share of the family fortune? He's living in the carriage house. That could be a first step. Oh, please. Ah, thank you. Welcome back. Thank you. Jessica Balberti? Mm -hmm. And you, Cliff Buchanan, don't you even get started with me. I think I'll go out and come back in again. No, 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 no. Don't you pretend you don't know what he did. What are you talking about, Tina? Cord. His son, that's what I'm talking about. 
Another one in the family who claims to be noble and good. Look what he's done. He's taken the kids to see the governor to get a plea for a convict, for Todd Manning's release. CJ and Sarah? It's true. It's true. And now he's free. First, Kane turns out to be the world's worst weasel, and then I almost lose Luna, and then Cord takes over the kids. And you think I'm going too fast with David? Well, if it wasn't for David's help, I wouldn't have anyone. Family, who needs him? Oh. You do, David. You do. Oliveira Twist? Oh, you haven't given up on me, have you? Looks like it's just you and me tonight, Twister. Here I was hoping for a steak dinner with the Lords of Landview, and I'm probably going to have to settle for half a can of tuna. Yeah, you're telling me I've had worse. You know what, Twister? I really think I like fixing that welcome home party for the family. I like being a lord. I definitely think I do. After pizza, I thought uh, maybe Jessica would come over to Ace's and spend the night with me, if it's oh. okay with you. No, it's fine by me. You want to go? Yeah. Good. Well, I think you need uh, pajamas. <laughs> oh. Right. I'll be right down. Okay. She's doing much better. Yeah. She's handling this pretty well now. Our daughter has grown up a lot this summer, which is a lot more than I can say for my sister. I do apologize for the way oh, she Oh, please. You. Uh, don't uh, worry about it. To me, Tina is Tina. Although her defense of David Vickers was a little over the top, even for her. She wants desperately to believe that he is her brother. What about you? What do you want to believe? I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, all the evidence tells me he's telling the truth. He is who he says he is. He's Irene Clayton's son by Victor Lord. But you know, Clint, you and I have been journalists long enough to know that the evidence doesn't always tell the whole story. And in my heart, I don't trust him. Well, as one journalist to another, listen to your heart. In my experience, it never steers you wrong. Well, almost never. I like the kind with ridges myself. You take it as it comes, don't you, Twister? I bet you would have taken Dorian's money. A million bucks. All I had to do was keep my mouth shut, get on that plane to Switzerland, and live like a rich old tomcat for the rest of my life. Here's the problem, Twister. Unlike you, I've only got one life, and I want more out of it than a Swiss bank account. I want to be accepted by the Lords and everything they can give me. No, I don't want just financial things. I want emotional things, too, you know? I like being part of the family. Even though I'm no more a lord than you are, but you can't tell a soul, got it? Not even the neighbor Siamese. Yeah, I've seen the way you've been looking at him. This stays between us. Nobody can ever find out. Find out what, David? Thank you.